Hello and welcome to this micro lesson on how to make a pulsating material. So as you can see in this scene, I have uh, a scene with a number of black tentacles and all of these tentacles are, are moving in a very small amount in a very ununiformed way to give a kind of natural look to it. Okay, I'm going to show you how we made this texture. So, if I bring in the texture itself, this is all that was required. Okay, now, I the only thing that I put into the base color is a zero, just because I wanted this to be a jet black, and all of the other work is done in the world, off, world position offset. Now what the world position offset will do is it will move the where the pixels render for for an object. So since I've got it on static mesh, I'm going to be just moving the pixels of the material across the whole across the whole thing. Okay, so um, if we start from the left hand side here, we have a panel. And I'm using this in order to, to slowly move the UVs of the texture across the, the, um, across the model. Now, I have two panners. Um, oh, they're both using different, uh, different axes to, to move the, the coordinates. One of them's on X and one of them is on Y. And they're both quite low numbers because I, I want this to be a slow moving, a slow moving pulsating. But you could increase these numbers. So if I made that ten, actually you could help. You can see that it's going to throb a lot, lot faster. Um, so you can play with that numbers there. Now the multiplier I've used in order to to um, increase to change the scale for the the texture mapping here, so that we've got a lot larger. Um, so I've increased, I've made it larger by having a num, multiplying it by a number that is less than one. Okay, the next thing I've got is a texture sample. Now you can use any texture sample for this at all. Uh, I've chosen T, V, X, F, um, noise underscore one. I think that comes with the comes with uh, Unreal, but really you can use any texture sample. Now, all this is going to do is it's going to give me a white and a black map that I am going to use to, to offset the pixels because black is going to be a value of zero and uh, white is going to be a, a, a value of one. So this will give me a, a different areas, a different distances. And because it's a gradual pattern, it means we're going to get gradual movement in the uh, in the um, in the texture, I then um, I've then done exactly the same thing below, but I'm panning on a different axis because because I'm going to add these two together, and what that means is that we're never going to get the same texture overlapping is to make it look a lot more natural. Now you could change the panners to make a different speed to make it even more. Um, yeah, even more uneven if you find that you are getting something that is looking a bit uh, looking a bit too uniform. Okay, then I am multiplying it by 40. So the 40 here is going to be how far the pixels move. So um, if I made that, for example, 1000, uh, 1, give it a second to compile. You're going to see that the, the pixels are going to be way off there. So, but if I only had it at one, you'd hardly be able to see see the movement. So I found that 40 was good for for this case. So it, it gave me a noticeable noticeable move. And all of that is just plugged into the world offset position. And I will grab this piece of code and I will drop it into the uh, the uh, description so you can grab it. But it's it's really straightforward. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye.